Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series I'm putting together where we started off at Olympus on Mars. We went to Phobos, did a resupply, then went to Deimos, did a resupply, and now we're on our way back down to Olympus. So let's just go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into it. Alright, let's get back inside the XR2. So in the last video, we set it up so that we would be arriving at Mars while while um, the sun would be shining over top of the base. So let's see how we did on that. So that's our vessel here. And here's the base. So it looks like we did a pretty decent job of uh, timing that. So we should be arriving, you know, when the sun is, uh, you know, overhead and have nice visibility. All right, so let's let's see, let's check stuff out. Let's, uh, let's warp time forward till we're about a thousand kilometers up so about right here and let me bring back up interplanetary mfd and if we do our base approach so mars target um, olympus and if we go into the i guess i lost my information here when i switched from um uh, when i exited out of orbiter and reloaded so I, I, what I'm actually trying to find here is, uh, you know, if I need to do any bit of a mid course. So let's let's see if we need to do anything here. So, um, you know what? Since I lost that information, I don't really have what I need. So, um, all right, never mind. I was just going to see if I could do any kind of a, mid, a little bit of a mid course correction to help line up with the base, but. Uh, since I exited out of Orbiter and came back in, I've lost my information that I had here, and I'm not going to be able to get that back quickly and easily. Uh, speaking of, let me actually check my my com nav, and it looks like I still have that information, 114.20, 129.70, so that's good. All right, now let's get down to where we're basically nearing entry interface, and then we'll which for Mars, I feel like I feel like we can get away with about a hundred kilometers on Mars before we really have to start worrying about stuff. So let's go with that. Now let's see where is prograde at. Let's get rotation. Let's get more lined up with prograde. So let's say about right here. All right, so now we're moving in the direction of flight. We're wings level with Mars, but we need to, uh, you know, get ready to engage here pretty soon. So, so 100 kilometers. We'll go. We'll go a little bit lower. Then we'll turn on the APU. We'll bring in the radiator, <clears throat> and we'll engage the. The attitude hold autopilot. So let's get down just a bit more. I'm going to say about right here. Turn on the APU. Bring in the radiator, gauge that autopilot. Now I probably don't need this view up right now, and it's hard to see that stuff, so let's go over here to arrow break and see how we're doing on our So according to arrow break, yeah, we're basically arriving at the base. Let's see if I'm on the center line. Just a little bit off. So according to arrow break, we're you know, arriving at the base with, uh, and, and, you know, passing it a little bit. It's, it's hard for me to know quite how to do this on Mars because, you know, by the time you get to the base, you're going, you're still going so fast. So, um, we're, we're just, we're just going to kind of have to, you know, try this out and just try to, you know, make it work as Mach best we can. 22. And hopefully, you know, if we, do pass the base hopefully it's not by more than a you know a few kilometers but um you know with with any with with the best of luck we'll be able to get everything timed just right all right so currently airbrake shows us coming up a little bit short i'm going to press alt eight so hold press alt hold it tap eight on the numeric keypad that's going to bring my my aoa down by 0.5 rather than 2.5 that way I can see myself crossing the base. And I can see I'm coming in just a little bit to the north. So I'm going to tap 
a little bit, uh, put in just a little bit of bank angle to the right for just a few moments, maybe while we're coming down here through this thick part. Uh, I feel like maybe we'd be overshooting the base, so I'm going to do Alt 2 to take out some of that angle. Because I want to burn off the Mark 20. majority of the velocity. So even if it shows I'm coming up a little bit short, I'm okay with that for now. Because you can see we're going to bounce back out. So let me actually Mark increase the angle 19. a little bit more for now. Just to try to burn off some more of this velocity while we're here in a you know, fairly dense part of Mars. Yeah, you can see our vertical speed, you know, it's getting really close to zero, then it's going to go positive, Mark and we're going to, like, 17. skip like a rock. And that's what's happening now. So I don't quite know how much of the angle I got, so I'm going to zero back out my bank hold. Mark 16. And yeah, now we're kind of skimming back up through the sky here. I guess maybe if I put in a little bit more attitude hold. Maybe I can control the skip so we don't go way, way out. Yeah, it looks like Mark we're 15. getting pretty close to the... Yeah, about right there. Now we should be coming back down, so we shouldn't go too crazy far out. Alright, and then once we... You know, once this gets clicking down a bit faster, you know, I don't want it to continue because then we are coming up way short. So let's put in Mach 14. a couple of down ticks. Let me target Olympus over here. So we're still 2,400 kilometers away, so we've got a ways to go. So be it, I'm okay with gliding through this part of the air for a while. Help lead off some of this velocity. A bit more down angle. Yeah, I don't really know what the best approach is for this. Uh, I don't think Orbiter necessarily has a realistic way of landing on Mars, because the realistic methods are a giant balloon that smashes into the ground and bounces a bunch of times with pretty much no predictability, <laughs> or very low predictability. Uh, the other methods are those like crane methods that they've been doing for the last few years. So all this stuff that we're doing here is really just, you know, our best guess. All right, so just trying to bring down the AOA a little bit to make sure that I have enough energy to get over there because we do still have 2,200 kilometers to go so we do need to hold on to some of our energy for now. But yeah you can see that our timing has worked out really well. Uh, you know so this is about mid-morning getting on into the afternoon and that's exactly what we attempted to do so that's a success. <clears throat> put in a little bit of bank angle the other direction it looks like I pulled myself a little bit too far south actually I might wait till I'm coming back through to worry about that because it sounds like it's dragging the RCS thrusters to hold that. Alright, so we are climbing and we're at 40 kilometers, so I'm going to do a bit of time warp because we're at a you know, fairly thin part here. 2,000 kilometers to go. Mach 12. Let's get warp time forward. So we're on our way back down. All right, back to real time for a moment. So 1,500 kilometers to go. Just take out a little bit of that angle of attack. Looks like our lineup with the base is pretty good, but let's go ahead and put in a little bit of left bank to pull ourselves north for just a little, just a little bit. 
Let's track our location, zoom in a couple clicks, untrack. Scroll over, maybe zoom in another level. Mock 11. All right, so we're 1,400 kilometers out. Put in one more level of bank angle. Just to pull ourselves a little bit north. Go ahead and go back to zero on the bank angle and see how arrow brake says we're coming along. And I'm gonna increase the pitch a little bit. Increase the angle of attack rather. So right now, arrow brake pretty much says we're dead on, so we'll keep that. Looks like we might do a little bit more of a bounce. So let's go control F2, a little bit of time warp while we skip up out again. But it doesn't look like it's going to be very much. We're about 1,200 kilometers out from the base. Moving along at 2,000 meters a second. Okay, climbing out, let's do a bit of time warp. Let's go to 10, it's actually 20. And Mach nine. go back to real time, close that out. So we're 800 kilometers out moving along at 1800 meters a second coming back down all right yeah not a lot we can do except be patient <clears throat> yeah sometimes some of the you know some of the scenarios and some of the missions we play through in orbiter they're a little bit uh they're a little bit easier in terms of you know human lifetime or human real time because everything you're doing you know you set something up you time warp you set something up you time warp stuff like this you can't really do that you just have to be patient so arrow break Shows us running out of energy when we're reaching the base. Again, I can't super duper rely on that because we do know that we're going to be moving very quickly and we're going to require hundreds of kilometers of braking time using our retro engines. So when we get down to about 500 kilometers distance, I'm going to try to remember to um, open up the radiator again because we're we should be slowed down. I'm sure we're slowed down enough now and then open up the retro doors. In fact, I may just go ahead and do that Mock now. Eight. If we take a look at our temperatures, you can see, you know, everywhere around the vessel is really cold. So, yeah, we have no trouble. Let's just go ahead and do that now. So, retro doors open and radiator. And that will have some impact on our overall aerodynamic, I suppose. <clears throat> So we're about 680 kilometers out from the base, moving along at 1,600 meters a second, about 18 kilometers up. All right, let's take out a little bit of our angle of attack. Looks like we could do with maybe just a bit of right bank angle. Pull ourselves a little bit south, but I think I'll go ahead and leave it right where it's at. Let's track our location, zoom in, untrack, scroll over. So we're about 630 kilometers out, so fairly soon we should have v, VOR, VTOL information. And then we can get rid of map MFD. Right, so it looks like we're climbing a little bit, about 1500 meters a second. About 600 kilometers out from the base, exactly 18 kilometers in altitude, climbing just ever so slightly. So we can start doing like pretend now. So if we were going to be using the retro engines, which we will be, and if we're moving, let's say 1400, then we need 202 kilometers to eliminate that velocity. So 
you know, now we need to start comparing this stuff periodically. I'm going to say we might be slowed down to 1,200. So we'll need about 150 kilometers. So we just want to keep that in mind as we're approaching. So let's bring back up arrow brake. I guess one thing we could do is throw out the air brake, control B. That'll help create some more drag, help slow us down a little bit. You can see now air brake has us coming up a bit short, so that should help us slow down. So we're about 500 kilometers out, moving along 1380 meters per second, 20 kilometers up, vertical speed starting to the Decline, so we'll start dropping back down here soon <clears throat> and I would say this will be our final drop before actually getting to the base so let's see if we have VOR VTOL online yet yep we do okay so this will be a bit more useful to us now all right air brake deployed so we're slowing down we're down to 1300 meters a second so we can update our or what if when we put in 1200 so when we get below 1200 we can update again but currently we need 150 kilometers using the full power of the retro engines and we're 440 kilometers out so let's watch arrow brake for a moment if we kind of look down over the vessel and look outside just take a quick look at Mars all right, so Mach six. Yeah, it looks like we might want to bank just a bit to the right. Okay, so we're moving along at 1240, 18 kilometers up, dropping, and we have about 385 kilometers to go. lower our bank or our AOA just a little bit so it looks like we're pretty well lined up with the base now so let's take out that take out that bank angle that we put in earlier so we have our bank angle zeroed out lower our angle of attack a little bit cruising along at 1150 meters a second 300 25 kilometers out from the base. Let's update our what if. Let's bring it down to information. AP thousand. So we need a hundred kilometers to break. All right. Let me hit Control S to save here at this point. Control P to pause. And let's switch camera views. So we got a save point here. Things are fairly stable. And so if anything goes awry on the the landing uh, if we if we don't manage to stick the landing for some reason then you know we can come back to this point pick up so that we're not you know trying to redo the entire mission or something just because we messed up a, a small thing on the landing so with all that said i hope you're enjoying this flight hope you're enjoying this mission uh, hit the like button down below and i'll see you in the next part